Here's JK in the post being guarded by Reggie Jackson. And watch this. A number of guys stepping for. There's six clippers and double figures tonight. Kaminga! That was an impressive dunk, but what I really wanted to show you was the fact that Kaminga dunked on Hartenstein so hard that the man forgot how to inbound the ball. I mean, take a look here. With a move. Did y'all see that? Here's a look again. A number of guys stepping for. There's six clippers and double figures tonight. Kaminga! With a move. <laughs> Guys, that was hilarious. Anyway, I think all of us now see Kaminga as one of the rising stars in the NBA, but have you ever wondered what analysis, coaches, and teammates think of the young 19-year-old? Well, today, we're going to take a look at exactly that. To start off, let's hear some thoughts about JK from one of the anchors of Inside the NBA. A former top 10 pick himself, Charles Barkley, had this to say when JK was initially overlooked for the Rising Stars game this upcoming weekend. No disrespect to any other players who came out last year, but if I'm a coach or a general manager, and I put in the name Kaminga and Scotty Barnes, I'm not worried about anything over the next 10 years. Both of those boys are going to be all-stars over and over and over. If Kaminga was not playing for the Warriors or Scotty Barnes was not playing in Toronto, we would be talking about those guys for Rookie of the Year. Barkley also added that JK has a tremendous support system from his organization. I mean, from players all the way up to the coaching staff, which will make his development more efficient and faster than expected. They've both got terrific coaches. They've got great veterans that are going to teach them how to be professionals. They're not going to throw them out there on a bad team with a bunch of bad players and play them 40 minutes a night and get in a lot of bad habits. A lot of these guys on bad teams, they're just getting numbers. They get empty calories. They have zero idea how to play basketball. Anyway, moving on here. Back in the 2021 draft, former player and now ESPN analysis Kendrick Perkins didn't agree with his fellow analysis Mike Schmitz when he compared JK to Celtics Jalen Brown in terms of his possible ceiling and potential. Here's what he had to say. I do have a problem with the comparison right to Jalen Brown. I can't roll with that one, but I will say he reminds me right now of Jordan Bell, right? Yeah, I know, right? Everyone was scratching their head when Perk had this outrageous take, but recently, after seeing what Kaminga can do on the court, Perkins salvaged himself and swerved back by praising the 19-year-old phenom. I knew he was athletic, but I didn't know he was that skilled, creating. To be able to drive and get to the paint finishing right, left hand, dunking the ball, finishing through contact, the way this man is balling, he fits perfectly with that offense. I mean, so much attention is around the perimeter with Steph, Clay, Wiggins because of the multiple pick actions. But when he's diving to the basket and rolling with his athleticism, they're hard to stop. Next off, let's see what JK's head coach thinks of him. Steve Kerr has always been supportive through JK's progress and has praised the young rookie for stepping up to the plate when Clay was gone and even now when he's filling in Draymond's position. In a recent interview, Kerr was asked what is going to be the biggest challenge for JK as a rookie, and here's his response. I think that his biggest challenge is just dealing with the ups and downs because he's had plenty of both. He's so raw and talented that the sky's the limit, but because of his lack of experience, he's going to make mistakes. We just try to tell him it's fine to make mistakes. That's expected. Nobody could possibly come into the league at this age and pick up everything right away. So he's done a great job of becoming more and more open and communicative, and he's getting better and better. You can feel it. His good games come now more frequently, but there are still going to be lows. That's all part of being a rookie. And we just have to keep his spirits up because when things go badly for him, he gets a little down, and we just got to help him keep his spirit and his energy. Well, those are comments from his current coach. Now, let's hear what his former coach in the G League, Chris Weems, thinks about JK's development as a player and what role he'll be playing for the dubs down the road. When you are going to draft a kid that size, and knowing that long term he is going to be bigger and stronger, he may grow a couple inches taller. His versatility, because of his size, gives him a chance to stay on the floor longer. And so we did talk about him playing a little bit of center. We still want him to play on the wing and play the three and four for the most part, and work on his ball handling and his passing. But he can be effective as a five. I mean, Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer because he does a lot of the things that Jonathan does. But ultimately, Weems thinks that JK must focus on developing the mental side of his game in order for him to succeed because he already has the full package in terms of physical tools. I think, if anything, you add to what he already brings to the table, like his physicality and his athleticism. Now we just need to raise his level of basketball IQ, and he's already a smart player. 
To get stuff done as an 18 year old, basically a high school player playing against pros, you just don't do that and not know what you're doing. Now that we heard the opinions and comments from coaches and basketball pundits, let's turn our attention to what JK's teammates think about him. Draymond is one of the veteran leaders of the team that keeps a special eye on the rookies, and especially on Kaminga. In a recent outing, Draymond has seen the improvements that JK made in the last couple of months, and he believes that he'll achieve all-star status in no time. I've seen Kaminga's work ethic improve. Not that he wasn't a hard worker, I haven't been around him long enough to say whether he was a hard worker or not, but what I've seen is him learning how to work, and he is learning how to work. His game is getting better, his understanding is getting better, and that's important. Draymond also talked about how coachable he has been, and more importantly, his willingness to learn from the Dubs vets and always keeping an open ear for advice and guidance. Kaminga is extremely gifted. Someone realized it, threw him out there on the basketball court with his gifts, and that was that. Not much guidance. But right now, he has that guidance. What he has shown is he believes in accepting that guidance and that he's willing to change who he has possibly been his entire life. Because of that, he's going to be super special. He listens. Now, in their recent close game victory against the Lakers, Clay was seriously vouching for JK to be a part of the Rising Stars Challenge before he was picked up recently as a replacement player. He also showered him with praise and claimed that he's just way talented at his current age. Jonathan was our best player for the first three quarters. I wasn't doing that at 19 or 20. Warriors fans should be excited for our future. He does things that cannot be taught. Isn't that crazy he's not going to be in the Rising Stars game? He just guarded LeBron James for however many minutes, gave us 18 points on 11 shots, and almost a double-double. Like, how many more 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds are doing that? I don't know. Andrew Wiggins also had something to say about his new teammate. Entering the NBA with such insane athleticism at age 19, Wiggs kind of sees himself in the young Kaminga, and here's what he had to say. He's believing in himself. When he does that, no one can stop him. Physically, he's God-gifted. The strength, athletic ability, quickness, everything in his ability to play basketball. He's a smart young player, aggressive, a hell of a defender. He's coming into his own, and it's good to see. He's a good kid. When Kaminga reached out to him for some advice, Wiggins told him to keep his foot on the pedal by being active and aggressive in every possession. Here's what he had to say to JK. Just staying aggressive and attacking the rim, not letting his defender relax. Just keep going and going. That's what he's learning to do, and that's what he's doing. Lastly, Steph shared in a post-game interview the traits Kaminga possesses that will eventually lead him to success in the near future. You can see the bright spots, and just how they are built in terms of their competitive nature, how bad they want to win, and how much they enjoy basketball. People take that for granted these days. Talented physical specimens that have just coasted through different levels. A lot of them don't really like the game and don't like to put that work in, so you try to watch out for that for the most part. The NBA is different because you can come into the league with a certain role or a certain look, and that can change pretty quickly in terms of sustaining yourself over years. So, not really worried about the X's and O's. It's about how you approach the game, put in the work, how you approach it mentally with your focus and intentions. Like what we see from our rooks, JK, Moody, and even James Wiseman. Throw him in there too. Well, one thing is for certain, Jonathan Kaminga, JK, the human helicopter, or whatever you want to call him, there's no denying that he's on his way to greatness. If you want to get a little bit more in depth and see exactly what I mean, then this video is for you. I break down here his game and situation and explain everything you want to know about how great this kid can be. So click the video guys, because guess what? I'm already on the other side.